review. I seen this product actually probably about two years ago. I wanted to order one. I just never really seemed, I guess, practical. Um, I'd only probably use it one time a year, probably even if that. And I just forgot about it and never ordered it and never thought about it actually again until I seen it at this store that we have. And I live in Pennsylvania and we have, it's called an Ollie's. I'm not sure if they're like all around the United States or not. Um, it's just kind of like this discount place. Um, they get all kinds of like overstock items and just all kinds of like from appliances to makeup to just really whatever, food, anything. So I was in there and that's one of my husband's favorite places to go shopping and I normally never find anything in there until I seen this and I was like, oh my God, I wanted to try one of these forever. It says as seen on TV. I don't remember actually seeing these on TV. Um, it says it's water resistant, fun for all ages, which I'm sure my kids are going to think it's fun if they have to fill their chair before they can even sit down. We'll see. Um, pouch to couch in seconds and it holds over 500 pounds. So go from pouch to couch in seconds, easy to inflate with no special air pump or bulky equipment. Um, simply hold your pouch couch in the air away from your body and wave through the air, then roll the ends and clip to buckle to sec secure it. Your couch pouch inflates into a full-size lounge chair holding over 500 pounds. And it says it's that simple. Do you see how big that says? So I'm thinking this is going to be whatever. So anyway, it says beach, camping, backyard, tailgate, or whatever. Um, I purchase these to go to the beach. We go to the beach every year in August. Um, so I figured this would be kind of like space saving and super easy to do instead of like lawn chairs and things like that. Hopefully, at least that's what I had in my mind when I bought it. Of course, I didn't realize I was buying a complete solid black one, so I'll be a little bit hot. Okay, so, oh, it looks cute. It comes in this little pouch like this, which makes sense because it's called Couch Pouch. Oh, and it has a big, <laughs> it has a big tag here. It says um, pouch couch on there as well. It's like an industrial like tag. They're really advertising that. Okay, so it looks like this. It has like a little drawstring here, and then it looks like it has extra fabric, probably when it breaks or you get a hole in it, something like that. And then this is looking pretty comp. Oh, and it has a big, <laughs> it has a big tag here. It says um, pouch couch on there as well. It's like an industrial like tag. They're really advertising that. Okay, so it looks like this. It has like a little drawstring here, and then it looks like it has extra fabric, probably when it breaks or you get a hole in it. It's a logical thing when it's 93 degrees. Do a video outside. That's what I thought. Okay, so I guess this comes with a one-year warranty. That's never going to work out because I'm probably only going to use this for one week. Okay, how to use. It gives you step-by-step -step directions like that. And I don't know. That's pretty much it. So four, almost three steps and you should be chilling on your couch. So let me get this out. I can't believe I bought a black one. That's so stupid. Okay, this one has a buckle. Oh, God, that's like... Oh, okay, it has the buckle right here, which is like an industrial buckle. Oh, wow, this is actually a lot heavier than what I thought it was. I feel like it's a big garbage bag. It looks like one of those contracting bags. This is actually pretty big. Oh, it has another tag, couch couch tag on the end of it. Let me change angles because I'm going to be too... Wait, see how big it is? How is this going to be easy to fill? I really don't think that. Okay, so anyway, there's a first chamber right here. This. Uh, this is just the middle of it, and then the second chamber is here. So there's basically two. So there's basically two.
separate things that we have to fill with air. Let me set my camera up different and I'll be back. Okay, so I guess it seems pretty easy. We open one side of the chamber and I guess you shake it and like you're gonna do a garbage bag basically, but you keep the air inside of it. <laughs> this is not gonna be easy. It, I guess has a little bit of air. I'm, if I wasn't sweating sitting there talking to you guys, I'm gonna be sweating now. I'm like so hot. Why wouldn't they make a pump for this? Okay, so it is actually getting there. Let me do it one more time. I can see me doing this on the beach. It'd be really cute. <laughs> I'll make sure to vlog it. God, I'm so hot. So I thought it was further than what I am. I'm definitely not as much air. Oh, I guess there's a little bit of air. Not as easy as the three. <sighs> definitely not as easy as the only three steps that you have to do. It's a little bit difficult than that. Okay. Let's keep going. I'm going to try the other side now. In the middle of nowhere and like I don't have neighbors or anybody looking at me. Because they'd be like, what the fuck is that woman doing running back and forth with a garbage bag? So anyway, I think I got it. I gave up right about there. So it has some air in it. I'm going to try to roll it down and see how full actually it has to be because I'm really not sure how much air they want in it. Okay, so here is what it looks like. Here's the clips. So what I'm basically going to do is roll it down like you would, I guess, a bag of chips. You're just going to clip it like that. This is what we have left. <laughs> I feel like I should be able to sit on it. Of course I have a skirt on, so. <laughs> it's definitely not filled. Okay, that is a complete fail. That's not how you do it. Let me try to undo this and roll it tighter. Okay, so I rolled it a little bit tighter. Oh my god. I seriously had to take a break and go get a drink because I'm like sweating and I feel like I'm dehydrated. I was thinking this was going to be easier. Maybe since it's just my first time, I'm not sure. But I called for backup. I asked my son to come out and try to help me because I think he seen me struggling out the window and he was making fun of me because I got a text message and I said, it's not easy, come out and help me. So he's on his way out 
Maybe we need an 11 year old to show us how this is done. Not sure. But I feel like, I feel like I did pretty good for my first time. You just can't sit on it yet. So I'm going to maybe fill a little bit more with air and see if I can get it before he comes out. And then I'm gonna take all the air out of here and have him start over because he was making fun of me thinking this was so easy and I think he's gonna struggle. So rambling on, let's just do this. Okay, I'm just gonna give up there. Oh. Right when I thought I was a professional. <laughs> okay, finally. I feel like I did pretty good this time. Seems like it's a little bit better. Try. Oh yeah. I I nailed it. It's actually pretty easy. It's actually pretty comfortable. I feel like I feel like this could have a little bit more air, but it's pretty comfortable. I'm impressed. So I'm going to drain all this air out and I'm going to see if Aspen, how many times it's going to take Aspen to do this. Um, just because I like to watch my kids struggle. <laughs> Life lessons 101. You got to teach them to blow up an air couch because why not? Watch a couple videos or get on that website to see what they recommend actually. Maybe I'll come back and show you how it's really done. but. Anyway, I'm gonna put this down. Okay. I'm going to take this all off and we'll see how easy it is to get back into that bag. Okay, so I'm gonna see how easy this is to deflate and we'll get it back into the bag. And we'll see if Aspen has any better luck than I did. So I got it back into this bag a little bit easier than what I thought it was going to be to um, undeflate it. So here's my little couch pouch. I'm going to go get Aspen and see if he is going to have fun. Since it's fun for all ages, he's going to have a blast putting this up. <laughs> now it's done. Here comes our little attack dog. I ran with it. What? Wait, you gotta hold this end too. See, there's two ends. Hold those both like that. And then as soon as you get air in it, you gotta close it. Okay. I ran back and forth, back and forth. Close it. You gotta keep doing it. It does. I made it work. 
It is useful. We're going to use that at the beach. Oh, he's getting the directions out now. No. <laughs> no? You almost have it. You're getting it. It takes time. Then you got to do the other side. <laughs> there, that was a good one. No. <laughs> you got to roll it. You just took all the air out of it. <laughs> you give up? Yeah. You blew the ends out of it. You're supposed to roll it down like a bag of chips. <laughs> Not like that. No. <laughs> Black is going to be super hot. I know. So overall, do you like this or not? Not really. If we had more air in it, I think it would work better. It's way too hard to put up. It's too hard to put up? Yeah. I mean, it's a simple concept. It's built well. I don't know if I would have bought two of them if I knew they were this hard. We'll use them for the beach though, won't we? Maybe. We are. I already I'll bought them. in the water. Oh, Eddie likes it. Oh, Eddie. Oh, Eddie. Oh, Eddie. <laughs> Comfy, right? <laughs> Comfortable? All right, you gotta let all the air out and get it back into the bag. <laughs> you gotta let all the air out of it and get it back into that bag. That's easy. No, it isn't. You gotta roll it neatly to fit in there. I'm a boy scout, Molly. That is true. I know how you hold it. Oh yeah, you're used to doing tents. Huh? Yep. Roll from this end. Why? So when you roll it, all the air goes out of it. Oh, this is way comfy. Is it? I think you have to fold it in half for it to fit in there. Look at you, professional. I'll go get the bag.
Oh wow, good job. Thumbs up or down? 